He sent two of the answers in Surah Al-Kaf. Uh, and he sent the third answer in Surah Al-Isra, which is a surah before. Do you know why Allah did not send all the answers in one shipment? Because what, you know, the, the, the English they say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. I mean, they gave him one, uh, one, one time questions, three questions at the same time. Why Allah give him here and their question and their answer here and there? What the heck is that? But anyway, go ahead to the answer. Go ahead. Surah al indicating that these two surahs constitute a pair. If these two surahs constitute a pair, and if we have to recite the whole Quran once a month, you know that, don't you? Mm. Answer me. Answer me. So you are teaching your children, aren't you, to recite the whole Quran once a month? This is your first. You have to teach your children to recite the Quran once a month, not to understand the Quran. Just recite it. Duty to the Quran mm. first. Yeah, yeah. All the others come after this. The first duty to the Quran is to recite the whole Quran in Arabic. In Arabic. Once a month. A Pakistani guy. You can do better than that. Yes. <laughs> so you'll have to divide the Quran into 30 parts and you recite one Jews every day. I mean, we were talking about a topic and now suddenly the topic is about reciting the Quran in three parts. Hey, Joe Biden, focus. So on the day when you come to... Oh, look like we have to skip here. What the heck with this guy? Okay. Uh... Okay, the question, let's see, here is one. I explained to you last night that the question concerning the Ruh is connected with Dajjal. And for that, if you don't know, you have to go to my latest book entitled The Quran, Dajjal, and the, and the Jassad, correct. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down the answers, notice that nothing happens in the Quran by accident. Mm. But you have to be a keen observer. And you have to be someone who is serious in your attachment with the Quran. And you cannot betray the truth in the Quran and expect that the Qur'an will open its wisdom to you. Do I need to say more? No, you don't. There are those who betray the truth so that their business can survive. Oh boy. Or so they can keep a job. <laughs> so their name might not go on a no-fly list. That they would not be called terrorists and so on. See? Now, look what he was talking about. This is what they speak in the mosque. A true Muslim, if he speak the truth, his name will be in the no-fly terrorist list. Did you hear it? A true Muslim is the one who say it as it is. And the second you say it, you will be where? You will be in the terrorist list no flight list, which means you are not allowed to fly in any airplane. Son, there are those who sit on the fence when it comes to truth. When Allah says he sent this ummah with a mission, Amr bil ma'roof, it is the truth. I mean, this guy, let us, let us focus. Where is the topic, man? Okay, so now let us see. Uh, yeah, I thought, I mean, this guy is all over the place. Soviet Union, I'm just, I'm going through the text to see what he's talking about.
Okay. And must explain that. Because Allah says he sent the Quran to explain all things. So we have an explanation. They don't, but we do. That this is Gog and Magog bringing them back to the Holy Land. Who brought the Jews back to the Holy Land Who? to reclaim it as their own? Who? Understand? Who? Gog and Magog? Who? Modern Western civilization. And so Gog and Magog are located within modern Western civilization. That is different from what Yasser Qadi said. Guys, Gog and Magog, they live in England. Gog and Magog, they live where? In England. Aman Rabbi Aman. I thought Muhammad, he said the Turkish, and he said they are Asian, and he said they have a small eyes. And he said they are, they sleep inside their ears. Let me look. You know what? I always was wondering. I'm trying just to figure out something. which I could not really understand. But now by the help of the Islamic sheikhs. So Gog and Magog, they live in England. And now if we look at the hair of this guy, isn't it obvious that he is coming through the hole in the wall which is Gog and Magog trying to open? Otherwise, I challenge you why his hair is always like that. Just think about it. The hole is so narrow and he is trying to go through. What is the first thing will go inside the hole? His head. And what that will do to his hair? As you see. Very simple. The Quran, brother, explained the Quran. So the Quran who explained that there is a wall built between two mountains and there is people by trillions as number all of them they are hiding inside uk and now we cannot find them tell us more have i identified the two no i've not done that i've not said that modern western civilization is gog and magog did i say that no you did not say that i said gog and magog are located within modern western civilization yeah but mine has remained a solitary voice for 20 years now no one else no one else has come forward mm -hmm. no no scholar of islam has come forward in 20 years <laughs> to say yes imran is right so now let's go to so let's look at And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is answering the question about the great traveler. The great traveler, guys. The great traveler, his name now. That is a new name. The great traveler. This guy from YouTube, I think. And he repeats the question. And they question me about someone who is known as Zulkarnain. That's not his name. That's not his name. I don't know his name. And stop. I thought the Quran explained everything. Why does God, they are asking him about Zulkarnain. Why does God don't say his name? <laughs> How many times in this video, this guy, he said the Quran explained everything. Zulkarnain in Arabic means the, the person with the two horn. The one with the two horn. How in the world, the God of Islam, he used such a word. Wearing horns, 
is an act of pagans, the Roman pagans, where they have a hat and it has horn in it. What kind of God he accept to announce that Zulkarnain, the man with the two horn, is a prophet of Allah, and all of us, we knew that this is Alexander the Great. And even the interpretation of the Quran, it says that. I don't want to know his name. It's not important to me. Why? Why is not important? He's known as Zulkarnain. Ah. And Karn can mean a horn. And Karn can mean a generation, a mm. people, an epoch, yeah. an age. So which one is it? The possessor of two horns? Or someone who will impact on two ages? Which one is it? Which one? Proper methodology is since this is located in the Quran, let's go to the Quran. Let the Quran answer the question. Okay. And when we go to the Quran, we find that Allah has always used the word come to mean a generation an age, an epoch, and has never used the word Qarn to mean horn. So the answer is, Zulkarnain is not. Brother, look at this genius. So Zulkarnain, Allah, he used the same word, but it come as a word mean generation. And as long as Allah, he used it in different verses, and it's meant generation, well, obviously, his name is the man with the two generations. <laughs> Why this guy, he did live for 200 years? What generation? One two horns. Zulkarnain is one who impacts on two ages, two peoples. Mm. He is someone who possesses faith. Faith in Allah. The one God. We do not know which Sharia he follows. We do not know who is his Nabi. But that's not important. All that we need to know about him is that he has faith in the one God. That's all. But I will stop here. A Muslim is trying to. <clears throat> A Muslim is trying to fix the, the poo-poo of his prophet. Look what he said. Mahdi, he said, the female egg is yellow. <laughs> yeah, Abdul, the female egg is yellow. Really? And mostly made of water? Mostly? You, really? And nowhere the Hadith says, can see the water. Really? Okay, Mahdi, in front of everybody. Are you willing to call me right now? And I will show you the word you can see the water. Guys, is that a fair challenge? Between me and Mr. Mahdi. If I can show that it is a water, you, you eat it, you just said water. How the how the egg, how the egg, when you say the egg, the egg is not water. If even if there's water inside, only your body is water. We are talking about water, literally water. Secondly, if I show you the word C, do you accept the challenge? Mahdi, do you dare to call me right now? I will open my Skype just for you. Do you dare to call me and get me busted? If the word C is not there, I will apologize from you. So what say you? Do you accept the challenge? Don't change what you said. You said it doesn't say C. It doesn't say C. So if it's an egg, egg is not something we can see. This is your statement. Still, it is fresh on the wall. Do you dare to call me? Did you say the hadith does does it say you can see the water? Nowhere you said. 
which mean if it says no no I don't not, I don't want to just show you I want to I want you to call me and then we will read it together what's wrong and as long you are saying nowhere in the hadith it does it say so that's mean if it they saw that mean your prophet is a fraud. Is that correct, guys? He is denying that what I say to be true. Why? Because nowhere in the hadith it says, see, nowhere. So are you willing to call me and put me in the corner? Are you there? Okay, I guess now Mahdi, he sees some water between his legs already. And this is why he will never dare to call me. Is that the case, Mr. Mahdi? Did you water your legs? <laughs> hmm? What happened? He played dead now. You know, he thought no, but I, he thought I'm talking. I will not notice. Just show me. I will call you later. What about you call me now and I show you later? <laughs> and here we dip the skin. <laughs> Oh. Let us go and see the hadith. And now we will make you pee and seek mercy from the pee god. Do you see the word see? Do you see the word see? This is the story. A woman. Her name is Ummu Salim. She come to the Prophet and she asked him what she should do if she see a water in her legs, in her private part, coming out. You idiot. And even the Hadith speak about this charge. Do you see this charge? Do women discharge eggs? By the way, once I was on the beach. This is a true story, by the way. It's happened like many, many, like long time ago. If you remember once when I went to the island, which have only women have three books. Women, they were laying down. And, you know, I said, okay, I will lay down next to them because I'm trying to flirt, you know. Uh, so I lay down next to them. And then I start noticing eggs coming out from between their legs. Like boing, 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 boing. It turned to be that the second those women, they saw me because I'm so good looking, man. I cannot, I cannot tell you how. And then they start discharging eggs. You know, the, whole, the women in the beach, they are discharging nonstop and eggs everywhere. And then the city hall, they came and they gave them a fine because people, they start breaking eggs on the beach, which is haram. Haram. Are you there, Mahdi? Are you there? Hmm? You said it doesn't say C. C P. <laughs> Man, look what the prophet said. If the woman she see, did you see it? If the woman she see, did you see it? A brother. So your prophet is an idiot. Face it. Swallow it. Take it. Anyway. <sighs> Do we have any smart Muslim here? Ah, if the, the male sex sales prevail the XY chromosome. Wow, that's so deep. Brother, that is so deep. Guys, look at this. 
if the male chromosome, chromosome, you idiot, your prophet he described a discharge, water coming out. You know what? Maybe I don't understand Islam, and you Muslims are the best. So what this guy said? Isn't it this guy he just said if the man have orgasm first? Hmm? I have a lot of underage here. He's looking at me. Come on, man. <laughs> He's looking at me. So he told him how it happens. إذا سبق ماء الرجل ماء المرأة في لف وإذا على ماء الرجل ماء المرأة. If the uh, sexual discharge of a man comes before the women or more than the women, uh, leave it at that. قالوا <laughs> صدقت. They said you spoke the truth. <laughs> did you hear it? Did you did you hear it? Uh, chromosome, brother. The prophet he mean the chromosome. The prophet talking about the chromosome. Let me show you more. Even your prophet he claimed that women they have a sperm coming from their ribs. From where? From their ribs. This is a chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. It's like music in my ear, this chapter. It says here, MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Prophet Muhammad explained everything for us. Smash Allah. So this is Ibn Kathir, and this is the Quran, and this is your Prophet explaining the verse. It says here, He is a created from water gushing forth. So the water we are talking about, it is orgasm, not an egg. Meaning the sexual fluid that come out, bursting forth from the man and the women. Come where? Come out. Thus, the child is produced from both of them by the permission of Allah. Now we continue. Read with me, Mahdi. Read, read and laugh. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. <laughs> Brother, one of my biggest concern with women is their ribs. If I ever get married, I'm going to touch my wife everywhere except her ribs. Because I might damage them and then she will never have a sperm. Keep your hand away from her ribs. First, if you touch her ribs, she will rip you apart. Why? Because this is how she makes babies. So we have a religion and we have a prophet who knows how the baby is made. The sperm of the man is coming from the backbone, not from the refrigerator. And this, the sperm of the women, since when women have a sperm, you idiot, come from their ribs, which is referring to her chest. By the way, this is not accurate because the word Taraib, and we can show you from Islamic interpretation, is the last bone in the rib, in the top of the rib, between the neck, the, the, the location where it touch, touching the neck. Not something inside, it's have to come out. Then they mix together, those both sexual fluid. And then they made the baby. And the Muslim now they try to fix it, says chromosome. Chromosome.com. The Prophet taught you how to come. The Prophet, he knows everything about sex. And he even can ship it to you by FedEx. The chromosome.com. Coming from Allah, O oh Hum. Prophet Muhammad, he knows everything. He is the idiot. No question done. La 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 
the backbone is the reason I will break your backbone zoom if your woman she is bothering you just go and tickle her ribs she will have orgasm and you can sell her sperm the beautiful Quran driving me crazy. Mashallah, mashallah. What the heck is this, man? He was talking about the time the discharge. He never said the water come out from her. You coward. He is telling her to wash it. Let me show you again. Actually, your prophet here is Ibn Ibn Kathir. He is speaking about the same hadith we mentioned in there. Here we go. Let me see where it says, where is the hadith? <laughs> it says here, sexual fluid bursting forth from the man and <laughs> bursting forth is the women. Egg is a sexual fluid bursting forth. <laughs> it says is a created from water gashing forth. And then he go up here, he says, <clears throat> oh, uh, let us see, uh, maybe not in the English version of it, but let's go to the Hadith, just to get you busted, you coward. Potato, potato, duct tape, the prophet, duct tape. Let us see. Uh, <clears throat> Did the Prophet say to the women, you wash that water which is thin and yellow? Did he say that? Yes, he did. Here we go. It's in the front of you. It's about washing that water. Washing that water. Let us see. Uh, where is the hadith? Uh-huh. Uh, we go by here this one. First of all, it's water. It is thick and white for the man. It's water and thin yellow for the, man, the woman. Which one of them comes first? The baby resembles the parents. Then we continue. Uh, here we go. Let's see. Let us take this part here. Uh, let us see. <clears throat> and now we will get you busted. So this is the story. It's about a woman. She have a wet dream. And she is talking about if she sees water. If she sees water, so this is a water which she can seize. You said to me if you met a go, and nowhere it says sees, correct? Nowhere it says sees. This is what you said. People are my witness, and you are still here, right? Nowhere it says sees. This is your argument, and now you are trying to fix it. Because you're a coward. We continue. The same story, the same hadith is about the same women. Ummu Salama and Ummu Salim. Ummu Salim, she said to him, what she should do, she should take a bath if she see that discharge. It's a discharge. And then the wife of the Prophet, she said, does the women get discharged? which is a proving that your prophet, he never made his wife have orgasm. Uh, guys, look what, look what, the, look how the Muslim, they tried to change what he just said a few minutes ago. Hmm. Why Muhammad, he is talking about resembling of the child to the parents. Because the women, she said, his wife, do women discharge? He said yes, otherwise how 
the child resemble their parents. So you're a prophet talking about this charge. So when you say, I know that women come out from the women, but water does not have any role in gender determination. The water that comes out from a woman isn't even yellow. I'm talking about the egg. You're a prophet describing that the water which come out is yellow. He is the one calling it this charge. Do you, can you read? So, according to your prophet, that the discharge is the reasoning for the gender. Stop fooling yourself. Everybody is laughing at you. People, does it say the woman, she, the wife of Muhammad, Ummu Salama, she smiled and she said, does the women get discharged? This is your prophet saying it is yellow. It says in the front of you, Muhammad describing the water and saying the water is yellow. And this guy is saying it doesn't uh, say yellow. <laughs> no way, show me where it says water that comes out is yellow. How many times I need to show it to you? What's wrong with this religion? Do they have a brain? This is your question. Don't repeat it again. I will ban you. I will show you now. If you repeat it one more time, I will send you free shipping and handling to Allah. Here we go. So show me where it says the water that comes out is yellow. A beach. Let us see. Here we go. The same story, this is the same story. The water of the man is thick and white. The water of the women is thin and yellow. And here we go again. Umm Salama told how Umm Salim said to the Prophet of Allah, of God, that God is not ashamed of the truth. If any washing necessarily, washing for a woman when she had a, has a sexual dream, he replied, yes, when she sees a sign of a, li of a liquid, Umm Salama covered her face and she said, oh Allah messenger. And by the way, the here fast translation doesn't say sexual dream. The question is, do actually here is the correct but it's not sexual dream it's about do she have this charge do she have orgasm he replied of course she does otherwise what way does the child resemble her and then in the version of al-bukhari and muslim and this is the most accurate muslim added in the version of um Salim, the man liquid uh, courses and white and the women fine and yellow. And the child will resemble the parents 